Um, yeah, this has been requested for ages, but I have honestly got, well, actually, I don't think I have now, but um, there's so many Metallica tunes that I want to do, but there are there are certain Metallica tunes that, pe that I notice in the comments people say, you still ain't done this one, you still ain't done that one, so like, they're the ones that I, like, when I notice them comments, they're the ones, because typically when someone says it, there's normally a good few other people that mention the same song and say you need to do that one. So yeah, I think, I can't remember what the other one's called, but I got it, and people, oh, what was it called? Sanat Sanat Sanatorium, I've got that one too. But this one has been requested longer than Sanatorium. Um, and plus this one is nearly 10 minutes of Metallica. And this is the first reaction I've done of the day. So I am ready for this 10 minutes of Metallica. And I think, I'm not sure, I have a feeling this is a, um, instrumental. I might be wrong, but I, I swear I remember seeing that. So maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, let's go. Oh. After doing the Unforgiven series, um, what was that other one? Nothing else matters. I did that one again, and now this. Well, I, I don't know where this is going. To be fair, this could just be a very gentle intro. But I really, I kind of like it in there um, when they kind of play these more like gentle, because they are beautiful. They do write some beautiful little uh, acoustic parts to their to their songs. Although it's not all normally acoustic, but still, <clears throat> let's go. hundred percent sure they're doing that on the guitar but the way they're making it sound is like it's like a harp almost because I was thinking this has a kind of medieval um, medieval banquet thing in to this not in every part but in um, just yeah how, how it sounds and it sounds like that harp thing but I'm I mean, it's got to be guitar, unless they are playing the harp. But yeah, let's go. That was a transition, wasn't it? Jesus. No, back before that. That drum is so from the beauty of the guitar and then that just aggressive, off-tempo, um, consistent drumming through. It really gives you this kind of uncomfortable feeling from going from that beautiful thing to then that that really gives it a kind of it, like a yeah it make it, i don't know it makes me feel uncomfortable and and the sound of the drum with the loose skin as well it's got, got i don't know just because it's super aggressive like it feels like this feels like it was a medieval banquet and everyone was just sitting down having a meal and then another 
king burst in and slaughtered everybody. That was what that gave me. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fire. switch up has been fire every single one of them and I was kind of because I stopped it so much in the beginning I was thinking I'm not gonna stop it for a while but I can't not because that was fire every switch up has been fire and in that one was like all of them was great and just like yeah but then that one that switch up fucking hell I have gotta go back for that I am trying not to stop it but I mean, I can't not, because the thing is, this is 10 minutes long. People say, oh, don't stop the tune, but it's 10 minutes long. By the time I fucking get to there, like, this is obviously going to be an epic tune. So by the time I get to fucking there, it's like, I ain't going to remember what the fuck happened here. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I need to hear that switch up again. That was fucking sexy. <laughs>
definitely need to start because I always do this. I like because I get so into the music one, the music reactions, that I just start over killing music. But when I take a break for even just a couple of days, yeah, I don't know whether I think it might just be that because this, so far, I think has been the best Metallica. Uh, I've heard, and it hasn't even got lyrics. But I honestly think this is a masterpiece. Like this is truly like a masterpiece, like just one of them, like war pigs or uh, just things like like when you hear it and you just think every change, every guitar note, every everything going on in this tune is just perfection. This is another thing you'll notice. I, like you'll notice this once I start getting into bands in these reactions, which but I am obviously the amount of Metallica I've done, that I do start saying they're all my fucking favourite uh, each time I hear a new one. But I think this is my favourite. Um, I'll go back a like, little bit. Let's go. <laughs> Is this a prayer? Did he say something about... Hold on. It sounded like something like the pale... I might be wrong. Hold on, let me see if I can catch what he's saying. Love that riff. I love that.
What the fuck is that bullshit? Does it just stop like that? Or have I got a short version of this track? You have to let me know. But that was fucking fire. Like I say, that is my probably the best Metallica song I've heard. Every switch up, but that was just so. Yeah, like I said in the song, that was a masterpiece. That was so well structured, so well put together. Um, I don't know what the fuck that little uh, thing in the middle, what the words was. It sounded religious, but it didn't sound like a prayer. Because he said something about the, what, the kingdom take me home or something, I don't know. You have to let me know what that was about and what, like, if to to live is to die. I don't know. Because it almost sounded like a, the, the words almost sounded like a kind of manifesto they find from a crazy person after they kill themselves or fucking do something stupid. Um, great track, no. Musically. Yeah. So well put together. So well put together. Yeah, that was great. Great. Another great Metallica track. And yeah, the next one will be um Sanatorium. So yeah. Uh that's the reaction. Sweet. <laughs>